About 11.05 p.m., the third mate was on watch on the bridge. He called the captain's cabin and informed him that the latest weather forecast had come in and they discussed the information. Note that the VDR recording only captures persons speaking on the bridge during a phone call. The person on the other end of the line is not recorded. During the phone call, the third mate mentioned the current forecasted movement of the storm and its expected proximity to the ship's course. He, offer, he offered to get more information for the captain and then call him back. About 11.14 p.m., the third mate called back and informed the captain that he estimated that at 4 a.m., they would be 22 miles from the center of the hurricane, and he indicated that the storm's maximum winds were forecast to be 100 nautical miles per hour. During the phone call, the third mate suggested to the captain that they could head south at 2 a.m. to get more distance from the storm. After the phone call ended, the third mate indicated to another crew member on the bridge that the captain seemed to think that they would be south of the storm and the winds would not be an issue and the ship's planned course did not change. About 11.45 p.m., the second mate arrived on the bridge for the upcoming watch and was briefed by the third mate. The deteriorating weather conditions and the ship's course were discussed and the third mate left the bridge about 12.01 a.m. on the morning of the sinking. About 1.01 a.m., the second mate called the captain and mentioned the weather and potentially altering the ship's course south. Some of the words spoken by the second mate during this call could not be determined. After the phone call with the captain ended, the second mate indicated to another crew member on the bridge that the captain wanted to stay on the planned course. 